Don't be silly. Hi. This is my series uh, called Vinci. Uh, this is the intro. And this is the intro. Yes, folks, I know it's been a while since I posted the first episode, but uh, I had to just take a while, you know, to do it because I just wasn't ready quite yet. Again, this is a fluid show. This is not the first reel. This is not the best part. This is the last looks. And so it's going to be a mishmash, going to be, going to be a mishmash of different uh parts that I've done before either could be the first reel of a movie could be you know the best part of the movie could be bits and pieces of a movie in fact I'm going to have to do some alterations on something that I wanted to do but when I tested it on YouTube it wasn't working they weren't liking you know the clips I'd used and they were blocking it so I'm going to have to uh do a different thing for that episode it's just one particular movie but in any case uh, here we are back again and um, I'm glad to be back actually but it's been fun <clears throat> this is October it's Halloween month I you know you saw in the last episode I was able to visit Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Hollywood and that's where I got to show the bribe of Frankenstein uh, scenes at the park and talk about a Bride of Frankenstein uh, portion of a different take on the Frankenstein uh, lore. I hope you did check that uh, movie out, not just the clip, the whole movie, uh, Frankenstein, A True Story. Really good, really good. And it's a two-parter. It's like a mini binge, if you will, in these day and ages. But today, we're going to be more uh, talking about a classier thing. And so, uh, in honor of that, I have wine. Yes, i got to make sure I don't run into the microphone. But here it is, glass of wine. Mm. Cheers. Or, I don't say, I guess they don't say cheers for wine. What do they say, like a toast? I'm not going to do a toast, I'm just going to drink. Just a tiny sip <clears throat> because we are going to talk about some very classy movies not just one movie we're going to do well we're going to just do two but they're not we're going to just do bits and pieces of the two uh they're very high quality classy movies and i know that this is the month for halloween and scary movies but i do want to make sure that you understand that these movies do fall, in my opinion, kind of into horror. It's more about the horror of America, if you will. Uh, it's about the horror of, um, you know, weird cultural life. I'm going to adjust the camera just slightly. A cultural life. Um, it's the horror of being alive and interacting with strange people whether you want to or not they're there we're here and sometimes you think you're separate from those people but really there's a lot of interaction going on um and i know this sounds like a vague sort of description of what uh, we're gonna watch but let me preface this by saying that here's what inspired it there's a director called called named john waters and uh he made a movie which 
had become infamous called Pink Flamingos. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure you've heard of it. Uh, an actor, uh, you know, uh, named or called Divine is the star. Uh, you probably have seen him, her with the big hair and weird eyebrows that go all the way up to the top of the forehead and, you know, big chubby fat guy. Uh, I just say fat, sorry. I don't, you know, you shouldn't be offended by anything anyone says anymore because, listen, everybody says everything, so don't be so sensitive. That's why, uh, that's what's the funny thing about these movies and this movie, or these movies I'm going to talk about, but Pink, Pink Flamingos is not what I'm going to talk about. Or not what we're going to see. This movie, Female Trouble, uh, is uh, was done after Pink Flamingos. And Pink Flamingos has this rep, you know, of being the grossest thing, you know, the grossest movie ever made and blah, blah, blah. And it's all notorious because at the end of the movie, everyone knows that what happens is divine. There's a long shot. A one take, like a no break shot, it's just like continuous, of a dog taking a poop on a sidewalk. And then Divine, you know, proceeds to do what is obviously the grossest thing you could do. You know, she scoops it up and, you know, well, you know, if you haven't seen it, you've probably heard of it. And, uh, you know, it, it's one of John Waters' earlier films. But he and he did other he did a horror movie before that called I think it was called Multiple Maniacs, which was a take on Two Thousand Maniacs, which was a Herschel Gordon Lewis movie, which is a whole other category of horror and slimy, you know, sleaziness in the sixties. But in any case, John Waters did Multiple Maniacs, which was considered kind of a slasher, strictly horror movie. Pink Flamingos became a famous thing just for that, really for that last scene. But it was also a funny take on, on, you know, people being obnoxious and ugly and how that could get you stardom, <clears throat> right? So that kind of, you know, that blends in with a lot of what goes on nowadays with a lot of movies and TV shows, really more TV shows and reality, quote, unquote, scripted reality TV shows. The uglier you are, the more famous you're going to get. Not ugly physically, but just the uglier you, uglier you behave and, you know, just act stupid and jerky. Um, and that's going to get you famous or that's going to get you stuff. So that's what Pink Flamingos was about. Now, Female Trouble, and here's the thing. I saw both of these movies on a double bill in L.A. when I was in college at UCLA my first year but it was the third quarter of college and I was lucky to get to UCLA. And um, there was a theater right down the street, the New Art Theater, famous theater. And it was showing a double, double feature of Pink Flamingos and Female Trouble, which is the movie we're talking about. Also another movie, which I'll tell you in a minute. But Female Trouble was on the bill. And that was really a better movie than Pink Flamingos and it, because it was more organized, I guess you could say. Maybe just a little bigger budget. But anyway, the second movie does not have Divine. The second movie is called Desperate Living and it's even worse than Pink Flamingos. In other words, uh, it's going to go into the territory of just parody out of control. If you are a Disney fan... What happens is there's there's they go into a, a sort of Disney hell, but we're not going to see any of that in these clips. These clips I just took some clips so that they would be okay to show, and um, so uh, Desperate Living and Female Trouble, two really underrated John Waters movies, really just underrated, but. Uh, what I'm, I'm going to do here is uh, pause a second, and then when I get back, we'll do the clips, because my camera had a weird thing going on. Okay, sorry about that there, folks. I forgot that I had... Uh, my phone was full on video time, so uh, 
I didn't clear it out and we ran out of time. But anyway, we're back and here's what's going to happen. Female Trouble, we'll see a few clips of that. And that is a funny one, really obnoxious. And then uh, we'll move into Desperate Living, which didn't have Divine, but was also just really twisted. So John Waters, God bless you. You, you he was really a, a maverick and in, in independent, you know, low budget, cheesy, queasy kind of filmmaking. And uh, his he's left an indelible mark on cinema. And uh, his movies, even the even his, uh, he did Serial Mom. He did Cry Baby with Johnny Depp. He did Polyester. Um, he got famous for that musical, which I forget the name right now because that one I didn't really care for. But you know what? It, it was kind of cool because it dealt with the racial uh, things. But I don't, you know. I, I, I think at that point, he was so commercial, it was just I like, kind of fell off the map on him. But I love all the early stuff. If you love cult, ugly, you know, really just seedy kind of, not seedy, but just, just honest, brutally honest movies about human behavior and, and also commentary on, you know, social situations and I mean, these these are characters, again, remember, these are characters. And the, also the great thing about John Waters is his scripts. So he he just overwrites, in a lot of ways, dialogue, which is hilarious. Anyway, let's get started here. Let me uh, click into our movie right now. And I'll just sync it up here. And I'm going to hold it now. Can't see it anyway. Come on, time to see what Santa brought you. Oh, Christ, I'm coming. Yeah. So there's Divine. Now she. <laughs> there's a whole setup to this movie. She's already a bad girl in school. This is like in the. Take. In the 50s, 60s. How very sweet of you. That's dear. what's really charming about a lot of this. Is look at the decor. Hey, wonder what this could be. A fishing rod? <laughs> Won't you join us in a carol before we And it's the exactly oh, like the 70s because it was in the 70s. This is not a set up thing. This, this was real. Oh my God. Look at her. <laughs> Now, Divine, of course, was a man who was a you know, transvestite, and he just dressed up like a woman, behaved like a woman in the movies, and I think only really in promotional things. Uh... <laughs> He's so good, though. Now, watch how Christmas becomes like a nightmare. <laughs> So what's really great is the extreme. Oh no! Oh! She knocked the Christmas tree down. I put a little hat on too. <laughs> this is Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I don't know. It's just look at the trees on the lawn. <laughs> She's a bad girl. The soundtracks are really funny in the early. Uh, uh, I forgot to plug in my. <laughs> there it is. So here's further on. She has a baby. She's done with high school. You can jump rope in the bathroom. You know it's not big enough in there. 
I've told you repeatedly, no jumping rope. But then this little girl things, is really good. Those same things. Because watch what happens. She's, it just are enough to break on my nerves. John Waters is just a demented uh, mindset as far as writing. <laughs> You can't go to school because I said so. I won't have you nagging me for lunch money and whining for help on your homework. There is no need to know about presidents, wars, numbers, or science. Just listen to me and you'll learn. And no little friends over here repeating rhymes, asking flippant questions, and talking in those nagging baby voices. Can't you just sit here and look out into the air? Isn't that enough? Do you always have to badger me for attention? hideous little girl today. She was about to get a good weapon. She looks so cute. Who are you? Ugly. You know who they are. I've never seen them before. Oh, Taffy. I just saw you yesterday, Taffy. Come sit here with your Aunt Chip. Oh, my God. This is oh, oh, this is <laughs> Look at her. She's great at acting like a brat. And see how this is like a horror movie, really. I mean, look, <laughs> look at these people, how they're dressed and looking and carrying a, a poor girl up the stairs. Now look what they do. They're going to tie her up or oh, chain her. They got chains. Here's what's funny. Look at her. She's already reaching. She knows. She's an actress. Come on. That's why these movies are funny. They're so fake, but they're just over the top. <laughs> oh, oh, that child is becoming a monster you can't imagine whining and demanding attention and shrieking those same stupid jump rope chants day and night give me that jump rope where is it i'll get that rope oh thanks honey give me those scissors here i'm not happy with this jump rope it's the last she time goes. she's gonna jump Pick with this up. goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> this goddamn thing. I'm glad I had an abortion. Maybe she's gonna punish me. I've done everything a mother can do. That's I've locked her in her room. I feed her with a car and nothing changes her. It's hard being a loving mother. I give her free food, a bed, clean underpants. What does she expect? I can't be her little baby friend all the time. Look at that hair. Just get your hair done tomorrow. You'll feel better. <laughs> That's what I always do when I get depressed. Maybe I will. I'll tell you, the lipstick beauty salon is the best. They're in that, well, you know, special girls in. You have to audition to even get your hair done. Oh, wow. And there's this guy that does hair there. Mmm, mmm. I'd suck the socks off him in a minute. Yeah, Gator's his name. And you know what? He lives right next door. And I wouldn't suck your lousy dick if I was sucking oh, it. Here's and there a, okay, was so I cut. In your ball. <laughs> you this is Taffy, Taffy, the jump rope Everybody girl. She's older now. No, this is funny. Though. I'm going to put you in the mental hospital. She can't help it. She's retarded. <laughs> I am not retarded. Oh, yes, you are, Taffy. I had you tested when you were a little girl. Oh, no. A staff of doctors examined you. And maybe the reason you don't remember is that they told me you are most Re definitely retarded. I never went oh, to any God. hospital. That is a rotten, filthy lie. I'm afraid it's the truth. I don't like it any better than you do. To think that my genes were polluted by your birth is not a very pleasant thought. Oh, how can I call you my mother? I wish I'd been an orphan. You can tell she's retarded. <laughs> Look at her face. She's the face of an old woman. Oh, it's true. Woman. Look in the mirror, Tabby. For 14, you don't look so good. It's because you've been such a brat all your life. Oh, and now all She's that a good actress. Is showing in your Link face. Stole. The face of a retarded they all had... brat. John Waters had a whole repertoire of people, right? Mink Stoll was known as the uh, that 
her and like weird kind of offbeat characters. There was a, I think his name was David Lockery or something. He was always this blue haired, uh, kind of posh looking guy, but he was just filthy too. I mean, they all had these, they were all these over the, there's Mink Stoll's credit right there. Oh yes, here's our lavish dinner, by the way. You can see our whole family is joining us to watch. And uh, the main course is going to be very interesting. But anyway, um, yeah, so, oh, Cookie Mueller, yeah, she was the, she was usually the blonde, cute one, kind of almost normal, but there's a, a sick side to her, and, uh, you know, so he had a whole repertoire of people, you know, like John Carpenter and uh, Brian De Palma and Martin Scorsese and all these people carry sort of other people with them in their own productions. Ah, uh, look at that. Little uh, rat tartar. <laughs> so that's why we're going to toast the rat dinner very eloquently. This is the opening scene of Desperate Living. Check it out. Let's slice that rat open, yeah. Why, why wouldn't you call this a horror movie? Come on. <laughs> and again, uh, oh yeah, there's a Mickey Mouse. I just noticed the Mickey Mouse plate. I never noticed that before. Right in between that glass of wine. That's right there, right? But uh, yeah, this is a twisted Disney thing really in its underbelly and uh, with the mouse and the rat get it it's really it probably is gonna be in my opinion John Waters most obnoxious offensive film not necessarily with just a you know divine doing what she did with the dog poop but but in terms of just the whole thing depraved awful people and it ends up in a twisted Disney. But here's a great, this is a great opening scene. And so I cut these from clips and they should run okay. She's like a psychotic. It's like war. Look at Don't tell me. I don't the dialogue know is great. <laughs> you know my life. Do you get enough allowance to pay for that? <laughs> I know you were trying to kill me. What's the matter with the courts? Do they allow this lawlessness and malicious destruction of property to run rampant? I hate the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you would call nowadays a Karen, right? <laughs> like a bunch of Republicans. <laughs> Your fit medicine. Griselda, my life is in danger. Please, 
My life is in danger. Kids are playing freaking softball outside. Yeah. It was a baseball. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> she's drinking. That maid was. I think she was originally she supposed to be divine. Uh, the the, the role divine was supposed to play, and then I guess you know showbiz happened, and she couldn't do it. Oh my God! We'll see about that. You didn't know I marked these, did you? Here, look here. See this pencil line? That was marked just yesterday. You've had quite a few cocktails, haven't you, Griselda? Well, what else have you pilfered? I think I'll have a look in that purse. You ain't looking in my purse. Why not? Got something to hide? Don't you know men aren't supposed to look in a lady's handbag? Lady? You're fired, Griselda. No oh, wonder shit. you people are always in the unemployment line. You people. Now give me that oh, no. I don't want no white man looking at my tampons. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about your tampons if I were you. Oh, no. Well, They're look tampons. at <laughs> my savings account book. Oh. With withdrawal oh. slips. Oh, no. <laughs> my lottery ticket. <laughs> lottery and two ticket. rolls of toilet paper. Two rolls I'm placing of you under paper. citizen's arrest. Oh, I'm going to call police to report you. Get out! Oh, no. Hey. Okay, so I cut. <laughs> Let's have a little medication, all right? Oh, well, you're just upset. Now, what's the matter? Everything was going so well. Get out of here, you stinking piece of flesh. Don't say those things, Peggy. Come on. This will make you feel better. Give me your arm. Oh, you touched me. Now my flesh is rotting. The touch of scum! Stop it, Peggy. Don't make me use force. Now let me give you your shot or I'll have to call the hospital. Stay away! Oh, God! Peggy, I'm gonna have to come at you again! Oh, Stop shit. Oh. 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 Help! <laughs> she did it! Oh, no! <laughs> He's trying to kill me. That's this movie is just so funny. Oh no! <laughs> down! Oh no! Oh yeah! I forgot. <laughs> oh no, he's dead. Oh. My voice. <laughs> God, well that was it. Oh shit, that was so great. So there you are, <laughs> John Waters. Two movies. Female Trouble and Desperate Living. I know everybody loves Pink Flamingos and they love Cry Baby and Polyester and, you know, all those ones, that musical. Hairspray, I guess, was the musical. Couldn't remember it earlier, but... But the thing is, he had a whole business of horror before even, you know... Cry Baby came out. And this was, again, Female Trouble is probably the best movie he's ever made, in my opinion. Because it's such a... It's really dramatically, uh, wonderfully put together. You know, it, it has these moments where everything just clicks. Other movies like Pink Flamingos is kind of up and down. Uh, even Desperate uh, Living, which was the second parts we saw here, it's good, but it's up and down. You know, there's parts where it just gets like over, like almost boring, weird. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know how to say it. But Female Trouble was really a perfect John Waters movie, so I highly recommend that one.
Davenport, Don Davenport, the saga. It's a whole beginning to end. That's why it's good because it's someone's beginnings and then, you know, what happens at the end, which I don't want to spoil. Now, these movies are not really available on YouTube, although you might find some, you know, some people, you might search them. You might find somebody who has them that just posted them like two, three months ago, but they might not stay up. So if you can find them for free, great. Otherwise, look for the clips. The clips are good. Uh, you can buy or rent them, of course, obviously. Oh, yeah. There he is. I'll move him up here to join me. <laughs> so anyway, oh, yes, and I was going to, you know, I was going to throw it back there to, I have a, a, Vin, a Vinny back there. Vinny, take it away. What do you say? You're ready to go? What do you say? I'm ready. Waiting on you, bud. What's going on? <laughs> All right, he's ready to go. Let's throw it to Vinny. Well, thank you. Yes, here I am. And uh, that was it. That was John Waters' uh, Female Trouble and Desperate Living. Really great movies, both of them, if you're into sick, weird, horrorish kind of nightmare people and the funny thing about all of this is that the fact is some of the behavior of his characters we're seeing this in the news now you know we're seeing these freaking john waters nutcases you know blasting off in the news but anyway prophecy or not whatever I'm, I'm just going to say I'm so glad I grew up in the 70s and the, I was born in the 60s, early 60s, grew up in the 70s, went through the 80s. And the 80s aren't that bad. I hated them when I went through them, but I, they're not that bad. 90s, eh, but there's 90s kids and, you know, they got their thing. It's their time. And uh, now, and then we went through the 10s, which I don't even know if anybody remembers the 10s, right? <laughs> but we're entering the 20s, and now there's all this weird kind of uh, overreaction to a lot of things. Like, you know, well, you know, <laughs> the term retarded. Back then, you know, it was all right. It, it, when I was a kid, we called it MR. Back in the days, you know, just terms were used. And in comedy, I think it's okay. Just just go with it. Don't get all upset. Because if you're going to get upset about comedy, what else is there? You're, you're just going to be upset all the time. So just, you know, go with it. All right? Have fun. Don't take it so seriously. Life is too short and... You know, we got plenty more episodes to go, so I don't want to quit or or get cut down before I can get through these. But don't worry, I've been testing everything, so I, I'm going to make sure that when I put it up, everything goes smooth on all my episodes. So uh, I'm being careful now, and that's why I'm going to end it this year, because I'm sick of it. But anyway, good night. And, uh, oh yeah, Reagan was trying to steal. I do have some wine in here that the Vince over there gave me. <laughs> but anyway, good night. And s episode three, coming when? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right, he's ready to go. Let's throw it. Uh, ooh. Oh, 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 the Eggman, the Eggman. Oh, oh, oh. Lady, help oh. my little princess to die. Oh.